friends today we are going to have a concept of bare area of the liver which is uh, really misunderstood so bare area actually is the area where there is no peritoneal reflection of the liver now just orient yourself this is the diaphragm and here you can see the abdominal structures this is the right lobe of the liver and this is the left lobe of the liver right peritone there is a peritoneal reflection onto the the structures right so here you can also uh, you know, visualize this is the falciparum ligament which is attached to the entire body wall uh, in the lower margin you can see the falciparum ligament right which is the uh, remains of the umbilical vein so coming back to the bare area actually there are no peritoneal reflections here you can see we'll be visualizing it more clearly after removing the diaphragm but you should have a view how is it uh, visualized in the and c2 so this is the diaphragm right the and other intraperitoneal liver you can see it clearly right there is a contrast between the bare area and the liver so we also be dealing with the discussion of uh, associated ligaments like coronary ligaments triangular ligaments so let's remove the diaphragm so here we have the liver without the diaphragm above so here now this is the bare area right so this is the bare area where there is no peritoneal reflection right it is just reflected like this on the paper when you fold it so you are folding like a membrane like this so there is reflections here the reflections now form this the triangular ligament sorry that coronary ligaments what actually the meaning of the coronary ligaments lies here that actually the reflection of that peritoneum right visceral peritoneum onto the superior part which forms which form two major concepts one is bare area there is no peritoneum here right you may see here no peritoneum and here we have peritoneum so the margins of the peritoneum actually forms the named ligaments so we have this uh, named ligament so these are so triangular ligament right right triangular ligament here you may see this is the right triangular ligament these are the coronary ligaments there is a left triangular ligament here right so these are the these ligaments actually uh, form the boundary of the bare area now he also you can visualize the ivc here which is the curve in the, the ivc groove lodged in the ivc groove and it is also related to the quadrate lobe this, so this is just an extra uh, content added to the video so i hope that now you know the relation of the triangular ligaments coronary ligaments and the bare area and with the diaphragm and how this is actually forming the anatomical concepts of the diaphragm so just for a overview you may visualize it again just have an overview so this is the gross anatomy of the liver right lobe and the left lobe this is the peritoneum and this is the esophagus so we discuss about the ligaments i hope you found it useful just uh, uh review it again thanks for viewing this video goodbye